Hi guys, Thunder E here, and uh, if you're looking for a very cost-effective tablet to buy, I would recommend the HP Stream 7. This is a $99 Windows tablet, and this is not the first time we've seen a full Windows tablet at this price. We had the Toshiba, which you saw earlier, which we didn't like the display of that, even though it functioned very well. Um, the display, of course, was quite terrible, and the speakers were also pretty bad. So here is the Stream 7. The HP Stream 7 uh, is a 7-inch tablet, and as you can of course I can easily hold it in one hand. In size comparison here is the Galaxy Note 4 which is a 5.7 inch display but the Stream 7 here like I said retails for only a hundred bucks or sub $199. Uh, running win full Windows uh, 8.1 also comes with Office 365 built in. Now in terms of hardware specs what you're looking at is an 800 by 1280 display so it's a 720p display which is still uh, good. Uh, can crank up that brightness there for you so you can see a little bit more. The display does a very good job in terms of sharpness, quality, um, all that fun fun stuff in there. Very easy to navigate. It's powered by the latest uh, uh, Intel Atom processor, a quad-core processor with a gig of RAM. Uh, functions pretty well with that one gig of RAM on there. Of course, you do have full windows, which means you can go to your desktop. You can see some of this HP warranty crap is here. Um, of course, you can pop up your keyboard if you choose to install applications, uh, desktop applications and all that fun stuff here um, on it. And um, we'll switch back over to the Metro side here. Now, uh, the hardware is pretty basic and simple. It's kind of clunky. Um, we've got, you know, a very large, uh, large plastic build with the volume rocker on one side and the power button. You've got a micro USB to charge and then uh, your headphone jack. Uh, camera at the back and then you do have a speaker grill here now speaking of that camera let me switch back again you can go and take a look at the the rear camera there's also a front-facing camera we'll allow that so that's the rear camera that's the quality of the rear camera there's nothing special and you know it's really just in case you need a camera of sorts and we can switch over to the front-facing camera which is VGA and terrible. So that's where these things really fall apart because they don't have good rear or front cameras all together. So we'll switch out of that and go. So the camera is not anything you need or you really want to use. This is really you having a tablet that's functional, you can do some work with, and um, you know, you've got four Office 365 uh, built into that. You've also got, um, You've also got a speaker grill here. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and fire up my Plex here. And I want to play uh, just some video here for, for you on the speaker. The speaker, I'll just suggest to you this way, if you're going to watch any video content, the best thing for you to do is actually just use, um, just use your um, headphone jack. You get better audio quality that way and um, you get better sound that way from this all together. So let's go ahead and just play a qu quick clip here. And just to give you an idea of how it sounds, volumes at max. So that's it. It's not that loud, but you can still hear it. And um, you know, if if a noisy background like me talking now, it really drowns away a lot of the noise. But again, this place still looks good enough at 720p where you can actually go ahead and see content pretty clearly. Uh, you can see how it actually looks. So that's just to give you a general idea of how this handles in terms of audio content altogether. Let me head back from that. Um, overall, I do like this tablet. Um, there are things, of course, that uh, need to be improved, but it's $99, and if you're looking for a, 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 a cheap tablet to give someone that has Windows that is functional uh, and does some really good stuff, at least in terms of productivity, this is a tablet to get the Stream 7. You can pick it up from Microsoft Store, online or in-store for just $99. Uh, the battery life on there uh, is between, uh, I'll say, 7 to eight and a half hours. I'll say it's probably probably close to eight and a half hours on this. So you're not getting nine or 10, but it still does a decent job with the battery life overall. So uh, if you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video and favorite this video. Oh, I forgot to mention the box contents. 
this is all that comes in the box some material but this is really much it the micro usb cable and this is more like a recyclable box anyway so it's, it's very cost effective so to speak so anyway guys do subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment